welcome back to my channel. So this shirt might look a little familiar because <laughs> you guys already saw me filming with this shirt using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wax. If you guys have not seen that video, I will link it here for you guys. Definitely go check that out. But for today's video, I definitely wanted to do something more burgundy um, for Valentine's Day, more smoky. I don't know, just something more like sexy and very, very burgundy. <laughs> um, and I had a lot of fun doing this look for you guys. It's definitely more easy for any of you guys to recreate at home. I didn't do any cut creases, no half cut creases. I know that a lot of you guys, you know, can't do that at home. So I definitely wanted to do something smoky and hopefully more easier for you guys to recreate. I didn't do the face um, because OVO, if you guys have seen the Anastasia one, I already had my base on. Um, and so I just went in right away and created this eyeshadow look and got two videos in one day for you guys. I'm just doing the eyeshadow and applying the lipstick with you guys today. Um, before we do watch the tutorial, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And if you're new, hi, my name is Sandy Hurkin. I absolutely love eyeshadow. I'm such an eyeshadow addict and I absolutely love doing makeup looks. Um, and that is what you pretty much will see here on my channel. So welcome. Please hit that little subscribe button and click that notification bell, which does notify you guys every single time that I upload a new video here on my channel. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So for the palette today, you guys, I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette with Morphe. I'm just really obsessed with this palette. <laughs> I'm going to go into the shade called Oh Hello, and using my Morphe M506 brush, I'm going to be applying this in the crease, and then just working up the pigmentation, um, you want to apply it just in the crease and then moving it into the inner and outer corner. And the reason why I'm going into a more smaller, detailed brush is because I really want the color to stay there in the crease um, and then we will slowly start to blend out the outer corners but you do want to build up the pigmentation um, and you guys already know that I love to pat the eyeshadow and then move it back and forth it's just way easier to get more pigment on the eye and then like I said I'm gonna go into my Morphe M433 and I'm gonna start to blend out the edges um, and it's gonna give it a more blended softer look um, and it's going to prepare um, us for when we go into the second shade um, that we're going to apply right on top of this to blend out um, the edges and also apply another shade of color. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and still going to be using the same palette and I'm going to be going into a shade called Grateful. Um, and like I said, we're going to place this right in the crease to blend it out. And as you guys can see, like look how blend and like soft that looks. Um, so it's really great to do that before you go in with some color with your next shade. I've noticed that that has really helped my eyeshadows look more blended and more soft. And of course, depending on the brush that you are using. My Morphe M433, which is the one that I'm using right now, is like my go-to. I love this brush so freaking much. Um, but lately the M506 has also been a favorite of mine. Um, Morphe brushes are very affordable, you guys, and they are amazing quality too. Of course, you know me, I want to darken it up a little bit more. So I'm going to go into the shade called Crazy, which is the next shade over um, from the first shade that we used. And same thing, we're just going to go ahead and just blend up um, or I mean build up the pigmentation and making it a little bit darker and then I slightly start to apply it towards the outer corner Now I did go into a little bit of black which is called temptress the one right next to crazy um, But I dip into that black one and then a little bit of crazy and I blend both of these together in my crease Now the reason why I did go into black is because I wanted this to look a little bit darker And I felt like the shade crazy was not giving me that so that's why I decided to go into black, but it ended up working out. Um, just going in with a little bit of black, you guys, goes such a long way. Um, I don't want to turn this into a black smoky eye. So grabbing those two shades called Crazy and that black shade together really gives me this nice burgundy look. Um, next, with absolutely no product, I'm just going to go back into that Morphe M433 and blend out any harsh lines. And then once I'm completely satisfied and comfortable, I do go back into that shade called Grateful and a little bit of Oh Hello, the first shade that we used, and start to apply it and going on top of 
all the eyeshadows. Now remember, I always say this, a little bit goes such a long way, so you don't need a lot of product. Going into Cosmic Drip from Mob & Beauty, I'm going to take this nice glittery burgundy shade and apply it all over the lid and using my fingers. Now, I'm not using any Fix Plus or water or setting spray to apply this. This is just me going right into that eyeshadow and applying it on the lid. And as you guys can see, it is crazy pigmented. It's so beautiful and I really wanted something shiny on the main lid. Um, I didn't want to go in like straight up a burgundy um, shade. Um, next, you guys, I'm going to go into, or uh, I'm sorry, a burgundy um, smoky look. I wanted some shimmer in there. So I'm going back into that Morphe M506, and I'm picking up this shade called Empowered, which is right above Oh Hello, the first shade that we used. This shade, you guys, Empowered is also shimmery, um, but it's just a darker burgundy shade. So I wanted to apply this right above that um, glittery shade that we use on the lid and it really just helps to blend everything together um, and next I'm just going back into that Morphe M433 brush just with no product I'm just buffing everything out just making sure that everything looks nice and smooth and then I do take a little bit of empowered um, from that Morphe palette and applying just a little bit more on top um, and this really gives it a more smokier softer effect um, I don't want to go in with any more of that darker shades that we placed because we already have enough darkness. Um, but I did feel that the outer corner, um, I feel like it was disappearing. I still want a little bit of smokiness towards that um, outer corner. So I'm just picking up a little bit more of that shade called Crazy and a little bit of black. Going into Black Market, this 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay. I'm going to go ahead and start to tie in my eyes. And the reason why I do this, I know that it looks kind of creepy. <laughs> um, I use it because once we, or I do this because once we go in with lashes, um, you can't see any skin peeking through and the eye just looks nice and smoky. Um, so I just love doing that. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of product on top of the lash line, really close to the lashes. I don't want a thick liner on top. I want it to be very minimal. And then I do blend it out with my Morphe um, M508 brush. First with absolutely no product. I'm just buffing out that liner and then I do go and dip into crazy and a little bit of that black matte shade again just to smoke out the liner. Now you definitely don't have to do this. You can just keep the liner as is, but I don't like when I can see like a harsh line and I still want this look to look nice and smoky um, and blended and it just photographs a lot better in my opinion. Um, so that's why I went in um, and smoked it out. Uh, for the lower lash line, you guys, we are going to go back into the same shades that we used on the crease. You guys know that I always do this. Whatever um, is on top, I bring it all the way down to the bottom lash line. Um, and so that means I'm going into Oh Hello, Crazy, and a little bit of that black matte shade. Um, this Morphe brush, the M508, you guys, I absolutely love it. It is so tiny, so precise, and it's the perfect brush to blend out any eyeshadows towards your lower lash line especially if you don't want to take it too down. I know that sometimes I can make my eye look very, very smoked out towards the under eye, but that's just how I personally like it. Um, but this brush it definitely helps you not to take it down too far, so I absolutely love it. And of course, just applying some black liner in my waterline and then just smudging that out with that same brush. And then I'm gonna dust off the setting powder, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara, and I'm using the Roller Lash from Benefit. Um, the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit is also one of my favorites. Um, next, I'm going to go into Scarlet, and it's this lip pencil from Morphe. Also, you guys, I do have a code with Morphe. I don't get paid. It's the Glam Fam 330 because I am part of their Glam Fam um, team. Um, and it's a one-time code. You can take off $5 off any $10 purchase or more. Um, and hopefully one day, see the you'll get it. I get to have my own personal code to earn commission, but I do not earn any commission using this particular code. And it is a temporary code. So sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> then for lipstick, I'm going to go into this matte liquid lipstick from Hank and Henry. It's a nice burgundy. Are you guys proud of me? I didn't go into a nude lipstick. I am so proud of myself because I always go into nudes. And I definitely wanted to switch it up for you guys. Make it look more romantic, look more Valentine's Day. And 
I'm actually really glad that I did go into a burgundy shade. I felt like I was really, or I really liked the look um, when I did apply this burgundy shade. I thought it was going to be way too much, but then I took selfies and I was like, oh no, it actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> so if you guys are proud of me, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, and I promise to play with more colors. I normally tend to always stick to nudes. Um, I, I promise I'll I'll venture out <laughs> and that's it you guys for today's makeup look of course me voy a despedir de ustedes in just a second but I had so much fun doing this look it's definitely out of my comfort zone but I really like it and the goal of course is for you guys to be able to recreate this at home so I hope you guys are able to <laughs> All right, honeys, and that is it for today's makeup look on this burgundy eyeshadow and burgundy lipstick. What are your thoughts? If you guys felt inspired, please do not forget to tag me on Instagram because you know that I love to see your recreations and post you guys on my IG stories. This is definitely a makeup look that I'm normally not comfortable doing. You guys know that I always use a um, nude lipstick, but I definitely wanted to switch it up for you guys and I threw on a color lipstick for you guys So please give this video a thumbs up for my effort um, I'm not mad at it to be honest I'm looking at myself here in my mirror and in, on my little TV here and I actually really like this combination It looks really I don't know like Fall-ish too, but very romantic with the eyes. You guys can definitely switch out the lipstick You don't have to wear something very burgundy like this, but I'm not mad at it I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and with that said you guys, I love you so much Besitos, los quiero, and I will see you in my video here actually very very soon <laughs> Take care